Hey, what's going on, everybody? All right, so for this video, um, this is a first time for me, and it's a do-it-yourself project. I basically got a Shelby GT500 heat extractor and basically placed it onto my hood of my vehicle. Right. Don't pay this no mind, I messed up right there, but I'll tell you in a few. So, what you need to do this is right over here got your masking tape got your cutter rtv the drill impact flathead hardware 10 millimeter six star socket and a wrench now when you're cutting the hood of um crown vic lincoln town car grand marquis you're gonna have like two layers so for the first layer this is right here then you got the second layer right there it's not hard as long as you trace it out then everything should fit just fine i'll show you underneath the hood show you how it looks Like I said, it's my first time doing this, so it's not gonna be perfect, but at least it's stable. I gotta do this one back over. But all the screws are intact with the washers. So you got 10 all together, five on the bottom, five on the top. Oh, also forgot to mention the black paint you're gonna need as well. For when you, after you finish cutting it, you're gonna have to spray around the sides just to make sure it doesn't rust up all right now since i already did the job i'll just tell you how i did it step by step you also will need a measuring tape on top of that so you gotta draw the outline for the heat extractor Draw an outline on a cardboard. Make sure everything is correct. Then you mask off the hood of where you're going to place it at. Mask it off. Do your measurements. Always cut twice. Sorry. Measure twice, cut once. I don't know why I said cut twice. <laughs> but, um, yeah. Um, anyways. Mask off. Measure, measure, measure. And then once you got everything lined up, then you start hitting it with the, with the cutter right here. Just take your time with it, because it's going to be two layers, so cut the top layer first, and then you do the underneath after. It's a little pain, but you'll get there. So after I did that, I placed the heat extractor on top, made sure everything fits and lines up. Then I used the RTV, wrap it around the edges of the lip, where it's going to sit on top of the hood, and place it on top just to make sure that everything goes well and it's seal proof so water doesn't leak from around the edges now after you do that get your hardware and have them on the side you're going to start drilling do one drill at a time so i start from the middle then i work my way outwards so one drill and then use the hardware this will go on top and then you got the washer the nut on the bottom so that's where this impact or you can use the um the wrench the six star right here and by the way this is optional i just use this to make sure it holds down flat you don't really have to you don't want to and you got a 10 millimeter right here don't worry i ain't losing <laughs> the flat head is for like the corners when it's hard for me to get the one washer nut up inside the um, hood, then that's why I use this the, um, flathead just to prop it up. But like I said, it's optional. You know, just make it easy for you, I guess. But yeah, um, other than that, I got it all hooked up. Clean up the hood. And there she is. Like I said, she ain't perfect, but she's in there. And now she's functional. So whenever I'm in traffic, I get all that excess heat out from the engine bay whenever I'm just sitting there. Now, this, 
I basically messed this one up when I was grinding the plastic that's underneath the front piece right here. Because on the on these heat extractors, it's like a little plastic um piece that's will hold into the hood on the Mustang. But I'm not gonna use it for what I'm doing here. So I use like a um another um I use another piece just to grind it down. And I grind a little too much in one spot and it basically just went right through here. But yeah, it's what it is, you know. It still came out clean though. And I hit it with the black paint just to give it a little darker color and stuff, the flat color. And yeah, that's pretty much it to it. Yeah, my wheels are dirty, I know. <laughs> Gotta give it a wash tomorrow. And that's it. Have a great day, guys.